Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to see how we can use Google Trans library for translating our text to a required language. So let's suppose we have been given a lot of uh, text and it is written in some Spanish or German language and we want to translate it into English or any other specified language that you want to do. Then we can use this Google Trans library, which is a free API from the Google and you can use it directly to convert your uh, existing text or to a uh, different language. So you can also use this library for uh, redacting the, the language of the particular text, uh, which is which it is in written, right? So let's suppose I've been given a Spanish text and I want to write what is actually the language of the particular text. So I can detect that particular uh, language in which the text is written using this Google Trans library as well. So let's start with the demo, like how we can use this Google Trans to do all of these things. And we, we will also see uh, how we can use to how we can use this Google Trans to translate the pandas data frame column into the required language. So let us start. First, we need to install uh, the Google Trans library, as you can see. So we need to install it. And then once you install this particular Google Trans, then you have to import the translator from the Google Trans. And this particular object, a uh, translator object will help you to uh, translate the uh, particular language of a given text, right? So you're gonna initiate this particular trans translator object, and then you wanna use the translate method, which is built in inside this translator. And then you have to pass in the text. Uh, so I'm, I'm passing the Spanish uh, text over here, and it will automatically detect the language which you are going to pass here and then it will return the desired language. So by default, it has been uh, uh, set to a English language conversion. You can also specify the uh, the source language and the destination language which you require. So if I just check it out, uh, what are the parameters here? So you have to specify the uh, SERC uh, to particular uh, source of language. So in, in my case, it is Spanish, right? So I need to specify uh, the language ES, uh, which is source ES, and then destination language. So I have to set the destination parameter as EN. But uh, if you if you know the particular language uh, in which the text is written, you can specify it. Otherwise, uh, the model will itself will take up the uh, the particular things for you, right? So uh, right now I'm not specifying any of the parameters right now. So let it do it automatically, and it will detect and return the. Uh, translated object so let me just run this particular cell so you can see that uh, the translator object has been uh, returned and it sees it automatically detected that it's, it's a uh, Spanish text and uh, the desired text has been converted to English and this is the resulted output of after conversion after translations right so this is what you want to extract from here so you can just use translated dot text to extract this uh, translated text from the translator object. So this is what you can do it. And when you can use uh, a destination parameter to convert into any kind of uh, uh, the required language, right? So in this case, I'm just trying to pass the same text, but this time uh, the destination language would be the Italian. So I'm trying to convert this particular text to Italian. So you can see it is able to convert it. Similarly, I'm, I'm just trying to pass uh, a destination parameter to German so it is able to convert this particular text to German so how easy it is to just convert the particular or translate the particular text into the desired language so if we have such corpus of text or uh, such a data set where you can uh, use this particular library to translate your uh, corpus into a desired language and then you can use this particular uh, translator test for your training the model uh, in an English language right and now let's see how we can detect the language of a particular text so in the translator uh, object you can find a method called detect and you have to just simply pass this particular uh, text into the detect method and then you're going to get the particular uh, the language required right so you just can see this particular output by running this particular cell you can see it has detected the uh, the language of this particular text given right so this is how you can use it for your own purpose for directing the languages so there are a lot of translations available so with with google trans dot language you can see the, the the desired languages that are available for translation so you can see there are bengali uh, bulgarian so there are a lot of language you can see here and you can just 
check out this particular uh, uh, Google Trans languages. So from there you can take up uh, these particular keys and you can just convert those uh, uh, sentences into this desired language, right? So now let's just uh, read some data set and apply the same Google Trans on, on the particular data frame, right? So I'm just loading up this uh, wine, uh, wine data set, which is in Spanish. So I'm just loading up this data set and then I'm just going to print out the uh, few few lines of this particular data set. And you can see we have a lot of columns available. So I'm going to just take up uh, the region column. Maybe you can take winery or wine and you convert it. So I'm just going to take up this region column and translate into the English, right? So I'm just going to use this uh, region and find a unique and I will try to iterate it over each of the element of the uh, region column. And then I will just try to uh, translate it and store it in a dictionary format which is in translations so let me just run this particular cell and we'll see the output uh, of conversion into the uh, english language right so you can see we have got a mapping of a particular uh, spanish word with the english word right so we can just use a map function uh, to map map this particular translation over the uh, the region column in the dataset and we'll store it in the translation column right so we'll just run this particular cell and we'll get the output desired output and we'll just try to print up those translation objects over the uh, over this particular cell right so this is a translation uh, in the english you can see for the particular region column so you can see uh, we are able to see this one from spain so this is how you can perform the uh, the conversion or translation from one language to another Maybe you can also use any other columns like wine or winery column to just translate it uh, into the required uh, data set, right? So that's how you can use uh, this particular uh, Google Trans library for your particular translation of text. So this is very helpful when you, when you don't have uh, the particular model or any language model uh, for specifically trained for your own data set. So let's suppose I have a Spanish data set and I don't have a specific model for it. So I can just try to convert those text corpus into the English language and then I can use those uh, English translated mo models, right? So that becomes very easy for me to do so. And this is a free API. So I am just trying to use this particular uh, free API for a conversion from the particular language to the English language, right? So I hope you enjoyed this particular video. And if you like my channel, do subscribe it. Thank you.